Hi, I'm Bob in Osterhout. I wanted to talk to you about uh, something that's easy to lose sight of during times of high stress or during challenging or difficult times. Uh, our mind is drawn to the negative during those times. Uh, it's a survival thing to ask the question, what's wrong? And it's quite easy to find uh, much more that's wrong than the actual problem that we're confronting. And, and we just keep pulled in that direction and uh, can easily get a darkened view of, of what life can offer us uh, when we're going through difficult and challenging times. Um, back in uh, the early 1990s, I think it was 1991, uh, I planted a dogwood tree out in our meadow. I planted a bunch of trees around our property and, and this one was kind of off, uh, isolated by itself and uh, planted it in an area with a bunch of weeds and uh, tried to give it water and uh, next year it didn't seem to do much and kind of forgot about it. And uh, then about uh, three or four years ago I was walking through that part of the meadow in the spring and I noticed that dogwood tree, and it was still about this big, about the same size it was when I planted it, uh, still had life to it. And the, the tr the, the, it didn't break when I, when I kind of bent it and it still had some, some energy to it. So I dug it up and I transplanted it uh, into our garden and uh, my wife asked me, uh, why are you planting that uh, chewed up stick in our garden? And well, it's, it's alive and it's the dogwood tree that I planted years ago and I just want to see what happens. And it turned out last summer that that dogwood tree had grown to over six feet tall and it fully leafed out, it was full of flowers in the spring and, uh, and then later in the summer it was full of berries and the birds came and ate the berries and, and it's a beautiful tree and, and we love it. And uh, that leads me to ask the question, what's the true nature of a dogwood tree? And uh, many of us think that the, the true nature of a human being is, is kind of dark and negative and, and that we're aggressive and, and have difficulty maintaining relationships and things like that. But I have to ask the question, uh, what are the conditions under which all that happened? And when you look at the conditions that the dogwood tree uh, grew up in, okay, it was crowded out by a lot of weeds. Uh, there were some years it didn't get enough water. It was chewed on by deer and rabbits and mice. And, and that was its adaptive nature to just grow into a spindly, chewed up stick. But as soon as it was transported to a place where its needs were met, when it had the proper nourishment and the proper sunlight and, and didn't have competition from the weeds, then it grew and reached its full potential. And I would argue that the full potential of a dogwood tree is to be a beautiful flowering bush and not a chewed up stick. And I would argue that the full potential of a human being is to be much more than many, many of us think it is during times of difficulty and, and high stress. Uh, there's always a possibility to improve and have an impact, I think, at any time in life. Um, I remember um, early in my career, I worked at a residential facility uh, for people who had mental impairments. And uh, there was a young woman who was brought there who was 19 years old. Um, she was uh, mentally retarded. She had some speech and language, but she couldn't read or do, you know, simple math and, and uh, just had a, had a very kind of simple way of looking at things. And uh, she was diagnosed with uh, terminal disease and was expected to die within uh, a week or two. And it, it turned out that she lived for six months. And uh, the facility at that time was going through a, a tremendous amount of stress. They had uh, made a decision to close it and so they weren't hiring new people and people were looking for jobs and finding them. And so staff that were there were being forced to work double shifts and uh, so you can imagine, you know, a single mother working there all of a sudden told she has to work another whole eight hours and there's no one to take care of her kids. So there was just a lot of strife and a lot of tension. And, and this young woman, um, just absolutely transformed the place simply with her presence. Uh, she just took a joy in every moment what she was doing. And I remember that uh, she used to love um, uh, the Fonz, uh, the TV show with the Fonz on it, and she would kind of make the movements with the Fonz. And I would bring her into my office when that show was on and pull the TV out and let her watch it while I was doing paperwork. And once uh, someone knocked at the door and there was a nurse just in, in huge stress and, and upset and, and looked at this young woman sitting there doing her Fon, Fonz imitation and just seeing the joy in such a simple act and, uh, and she just, a big smile came out on her face and the tension melted away and, and, and uh, that was the effect that she had. So here was a person uh, whose intelligence couldn't even be measured, okay? Part of my job was to give her intelligence tests and it was below the level at which you could measure it. And uh, 
she had a profound impact on a number of people uh, in the last few months of her life just by being herself and by fully embracing and enjoying each moment of her life. And, and since that time, uh, I've worked with people who, for example, know they're going to prison, who have suffered a, a great loss, where they've lost all of their, their business and their house and all of this. Um, and those conditions um, change the options that are available to us and change the possibilities, but that doesn't take away all of the potential and possibility that there is in our life. And that's an ongoing opportunity, an ongoing challenge to keep looking for and recognizing what's possible and, and what is each one of us has a potential, has something that we can do and something we can offer. And it can be limited in all kinds of ways depending on what happens to our lives. But as long as we're alive and we're conscious, we have something that we can improve and something that we can contribute. And if you keep that in mind and keep that larger frame in mind during difficult times, you can discover things that are much more satisfying and rewarding and you too can have a great impact on other people. Thank you.